Hi everyone, welcome John here and in this video today I'm going to show you how to set up your Python dev environment on Windows 10. So I'm going to run through installing everything we need. There's, we're going to install Python, pip, some basic packages and we're going to install VS Code as our code editor. Um, and stick around to the end I'll show you how what themes I use and how I set up my VS Code. Uh, so to get started we want to install Python. You can do this from the Windows Store if you want to but I prefer to keep it separately. So I come to the Python website to download it manually. I've already done that and it's down here so I'm just going to run the Python exe that I've downloaded and we're going to get it installed. So what we want to do is install now, um, just select all of them and make sure you want to tick this button here. It says add Python 3.9 to path. This is very important. So we're going to click that and we're going to hit install now and we're going to let it carry on and install this for us. So once the install is run, we are saying setup successful so we can go ahead and close. The next thing that I like to install is actually the new Windows terminal. We do need to use the terminal a bit and we need to get used to it. So I prefer to you to do that rather than use the basic PowerShell. To do that, you want to go to the Microsoft Store. So you can just type store in here, open it up. And when it's loaded, you can in the top corner, there's a search button and you want to type terminal. And the first one that pops up is the Windows terminal app. This is what we want to download. This is actually installed on this machine already. It might be installed on yours. But if it isn't, there'll be an install button here, which you'll want to run. Once that's done, we can launch it. And we can check that it's working. So I can see that this is open here now. We have a new Windows PowerShell terminal. Um, to test that Python's working, go ahead and type Python. And we can see that it has, I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. We can see that we are now running in the actual Python REPL. And it says Python 3.9.0, which is what we just downloaded. If you didn't manage to get this far and it didn't work, check that the install actually ran properly. So now that we know that that works, we can just close out of this and we can move on to the next thing that we want to download. So with Python, we want to be able to install our packages that we like to use with it. When I do a lot of my web scraping videos, I always use lots of uh, other packages like requests, beautiful soup, selenium, all of them. So we want to be able to install those. So to do that, we need to be able to install pip. Now pip is the package manager for Python, and that lets us install all of those extra modules and packages that we want. So I'll have links to all of this in the description below, so you don't need to worry about it. But basically you come to the pip website, and you can see here we have a line that we can use to curl get and then install or you can click on this link here to download the file which is what i'm going to do so that didn't work how i thought it was going to do so i'm just going to back up and i'm going to go right click and then i'm going to hit save link as and i'm just going to save that into my documents and it's a get pip python file once that just downloaded we can click on it and that should run it for us it'll open up the pi file and run it using python the python install that we've already done so hopefully that's worked. So now we can go to our terminal and we can type in the word pip and we should get some text output like this. What this means is it's just telling us that we need to, we need to uh, actually give pip some commands to install packages that we want. So to install packages with pip, we do a simple pip install like this. And then we type in the name of the package that we want. So I'm just going to install a few basic ones right now. So I'm going to say pip install pandas. And if you want to install multiple packages, you just separate them with an, they separate their names with a space. So I'm going to do pandas requests, and I believe it's beautiful soup. You need to make sure you get the names right. I think it's beautiful soup four. So we're going to hit enter, and we're going to let that run, and it's going to say downloading, and then it's going to say installing. If you've got the name of the packages wrong, it will come back and it will tell you that you didn't get it right, and you can just look up to make sure you get the right name for the package. If you're actually looking for something specific, the best place to come to is PyPI, which is a website where all of the Python packages are indexed, as it's called Python Package Index. And you can search here for any that you're particularly interested in, or you can find, um, you can browse as well. So let's say we wanted to um, check that I got Beautiful Soup 4 right. So I'm just gonna search for BS4 and it's going to come up with a load of packages. So it looks like that's not exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type the full word, beautiful soup. And we can see here right away that beautiful soup 4 pops up and it says it's a screen scraping library, which is about right. And here 
under the package, you've got this little command here, pip install beautiful suit 4, which you could copy and paste into your terminal to install those packages. I've already done that, and we can see here that it's run. We got a warning saying that the pip version we are using is out of date. So we could go ahead and update that if we wanted to. I'm not going to do that now. If you want to, you can just follow the command it gives you right here. So now we've got Python installed. We verified it works by typing and we can see we got this up here. So now I'm gonna check that even though the packages say they downloaded installed fine, I'm gonna check that they work. So inside this we can type import and I'm gonna type pandas. Now if we get no errors, that means that our package has installed fine and everything is linked up. Remember how I said you have to tick the path button? Well, this all helps with that. So now I can see that that's working. I'm gonna import requests as well. Perfect, no problems. If you try and import something that doesn't exist, uh, let's say we haven't installed Selenium, you'll get a module not found. And then you can go ahead and pip install what you need. So the next thing we need is a code editor. Now as Hot Topic, you can choose whichever code editor you like. You can use Notepad++ is a popular one for some reason. I don't get along with it. A lot of people like Sublime Text. But if you're not sure what to choose, I would 100% recommend you use VS Code. It's uh, free, open source, it's made by Microsoft. It works on every platform, Linux, Mac, Windows, the lot. It's really good and it's customizable and it's very easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna to go to the download link here. And I need the 32-bit version because that is, the, um, that is the version of Windows I'm running. If you're on 64-bit, you need the 64-bit. So I'm just gonna let that download and then I'll get it installed. Click on the EXE, choose where you want to install it. And we're gonna leave that right. Add to path, we're gonna leave that as open as uh, that ticked as well. And then we're gonna hit install. And it takes a few seconds to install. So once, that done, once that's done, we'll open it up and we'll have a look at configuring VS Code and more importantly, installing a theme so it looks better. So that's done, I'm gonna hit uh, finish. It's gonna auto open. And this is what it looks like to start with. So first of all, we're gonna make this bigger and we're going to zoom in with the text just so we can all see. Right, the first thing that you want to do is close off this and come down to the side and it says extensions here. Under the, under the extensions, we can see right away, Python is the most popular one and that is the one that we need to install. If that isn't there, go ahead and just search Python and it will pop right up. We need to click on it and we need to click install. We can see that this is the one that we want. It's got somewhere, uh, it's got over 27 million install installs. So we hit install and we let that do its thing. So that appears to have installed. So now I'm just gonna close down VS Code and I'm gonna reopen it. I'm going to try and reopen it. Okay. So once you've installed the Python extension for VS Code, you need to go ahead and open up a Py file. If you don't have a Py file, you can start one, um, open a folder on the left-hand side like I showed you, and then create a file. And as long as the end extension is .py, when you click on it, this is all gonna pop up and the Python extension. And we can see in the bottom corner here that it's got our Python version right down here, Python 3.9.0. We can get rid of this. We don't need this right now. It's asking us on the bottom corner here if we want to install a linter. Now a linter is a way, it kind of just auto formats your code um, when you save it. It's up to you whether you want one. I don't really use them. A lot of people do, but I'm gonna go ahead and install PyLint. So we'll click install and we'll let that do its thing. See, it opens up the terminal here and it does it all for us. It's going to install it. So we are essentially ready now. We're, we are completed. We can go ahead and we can start writing Python code. I'm going to just clear this terminal here and we're going to write a really, really uh, simple print scripts and we're just gonna say print hello. And I've saved it with my control S on my key binding. And this is the run button up here. We click that and it's gonna pop up the terminal like you see on my videos and it's going to run that code. It's important to know that here we are running our terminal. So we're actually like this one here, like I showed you, I can quit out of that actually. We can see this here, we're actually in this folder here. So if you want to pip install 
uh, programs whilst you're in VS Code, you can absolutely do that. You can type them in here. Uh, let's pip install. Let's say we wanted to install text blob, which is for sentiment text analysis. We could go ahead and just type it in here and that would work just fine. You can see it says download like I showed you in the other terminal. So we can do it that way too. So I'm just going to let this finish and then we're going to move on to the most important thing, which are themes, <laughs> obviously got to make it look, make it look good. The default, um, VS code theme is pretty good. I quite like it. I use it for a long time, but now I've moved on to another one, which is I think called the one dark material theme. So to install themes, again, you need to come down to extensions. I'm just going to make this a tad smaller so I can see the whole thing. And then we can search in the marketplace. So the one I use is one dark pro, I think, and it's based on atom, which is a, another code editor and it's based on that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and click install on there. And once it's done, we pops this up, we can see it's done it right away, but you could select your themes this way. So if I click on the old VS code one and we can come back here and click on this one and it's going to set it for us. There are a few other settings that I change sometimes with this. If you want to change settings, when you come to it in the extension, if there isn't a settings button here or somewhere down there, this little wheel here, you click on that and we can go extension settings. Oh, I just reverted it back for some reason. That's annoying. And we can see here. Now I like to remove italics. I find them a bit annoying. So I'm going to off tick that hit reload. Then go back to my theme and hit set color theme. And there we are. We go back to our Pi file. We can see that we have the new theme. There's loads of themes in there. Go ahead and try as many as you like. Um, see which ones you like. Obviously, you have to have a dark theme, though. You can't, you can't have a light theme. That's not allowed. So hopefully, you guys have found this useful. Um, so make sure you follow the steps through. Install Python. I like to use the Windows, the new Windows terminal. Go ahead and install that. It's quite, quite uh, important for when I show you how to do this and use the Windows subsystem for Linux. That's the way I do it. You don't have to do it that way. This way works just fine. Uh, install VS Code, install Python, install pip the way I showed you just by downloading that file and running it once you have Python installed. Make sure you tick path, all that stuff, and you're good to go. At this point we are at this point we're at now, you could quite easily follow along with any of my tutorials or anybody else's on YouTube and you will be just fine. So hopefully you found this useful to you guys out there that are just beginning. So make sure you hit like if you like this video, drop a comment down below. Uh, and consider subscribing to my channel. I've got more videos to come. There's loads of web scraping content already uh, geared at all sorts of ability. So there should be something for you everywhere. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.